Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blyford. Today we're going to learn how to create a customized layer style and then save it for future use. And then we're going to be able to uh, apply it to some text again if we need to. So the first thing you need to uh, have open is you want to have your, your styles tab open. So go to window and then go to styles and make sure it's checked and it'll pop open somewhere around here. So right now I've got this uh, text here and it's got these different styles. I got bevel, inner shadow, satin, gradient, and drop shadow on it. And uh, what I want to do is save this for future use because I'm going to be using a lot of text like this in my next project. So I'm going to hit new style and I'm just going to name this glass. I'm going to hit OK. Oh, I'm going to hit OK over here. And then I can X out of this. And now you can see that the glass uh, style has appeared right here and it even shows up with its name on the pop-up. So if I wanted to create some uh, new text, um, let's hide this one. So I got new text right there and I'm going to apply the style to it. And you can see that it changes it to the text that I have. It even added, uh, it even made sure that the fill was at zero and the opacity was at 100%. Because before that, the fill was at 100%. So it even um, saved that kind of stuff. So that's really useful when you're doing that kind of things, or those kind of things. Like if you have a stroke and you want it to be the same exact size for everything, go ahead and save that in your styles and it'll be quick and easy to use. So that was really easy. You just uh, save your style in your FX panel uh, under New Style, and then you just drag from your Styles panel onto your layer. So that's awesome, and it's really quick and easy, and it uh, makes your life a lot easier when you're working with a lot of different things that use the same styles. So uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you on uh, how to create your customized layer styles and how to apply them to the layer. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.